All right, this video goes out to the skinny fit girls that might have had a little bit of weight that they had to lose. And now that you've lost all the weight, you don't want to lose any more weight because you don't want to get called skinny. But at the same time, you want to drop your body fat and build muscle. Now, the thing that we first have to understand is that your body is going to lose the weight that it doesn't necessarily want. So if you're super active now and your body's moving, and let's say that when you were younger, you were a lot smaller and you weighed a certain amount of weight, your body's going to go to the weight that it's most comfortable based on the activity that you're giving it as long as you're not overeating, right? So when it comes to gaining muscle and to stop losing weight, is that you need muscle to show muscle. So what you need to do is get muscle, right? And you can't get muscle by not working out, right? Muscle requires progressive overload. It doesn't matter what calories you set, what supplements you take. If you aren't working out, and more importantly, doing circuit training with weights, then you're never gonna have muscle to show. So you can decrease your body fat, you can lose all the weight you want, but if you're not challenging the muscles to grow, there's gonna be no muscle to show anyways. The second thing that you need to know is that you need to get your body fat low enough that it uncovers the muscle underneath. Just recently, we did a belly burn and I was working with a guy. His body fat was around 21%, 22%, which is a good number for a man of his age. And we got him down to about 15, 16%. And for the first time since he was probably 18, this guy's in his 50s, this guy's got abs. So it took 5 to 6% of body fat for him to actually see his abs. So if you want to see abs, well, those abs come in around that 15, 16, 17%. So if you're trying to see more muscle into the shoulders, more definition in through the stomach, well, then we still have to drop your body fat and at the same time we need to put in the reps and the progressive overload in order for you to build muscles. So when it comes to you've established your workout routine, you're putting in the reps and you're building the muscle by doing circuit training with weights, then when it comes to your calories, you have to understand that you need to be eating as much or slightly more calories than you burn. So the way that you establish that is you wanna be able to either A, get a watch, but sometimes these watches aren't correct because they don't read your muscle percentage and muscle requires more calories than fat. So as you add more muscle mass onto your body, what you're actually burning might not actually be what you're burning on the watch versus what your body's actually burning. And so you'd have to actually track your weight on a weekly basis. And what you wanna see is a 0.25 gain in body weight every single week. So you're looking at about a pound a month of muscle that you want to gain. Anything above and beyond that, you actually might be storing it more as fat. So I tell you about a 0.25 pound. Now you're like, wow, that's, that's a lot. But you think about it, if you can put on five to 10 pounds of muscle in a year, I guarantee you, you're going to look like a completely different person. So the thing with muscle is that it takes time, it takes consistency, and it needs to be a progressive overload, right? Like you can't be lifting the fives all the time and hoping that in, in a year's time from now, you're gonna be putting on more muscle. You gotta go from the fives to the eights, from the eights to the tens, from the tens to the twelves, the twelves to the twelve and a halves. And it's gotta be that progressive. At the same time, you need to stay, keep the same intensity throughout the lifts. You can't just lift one thing once, put it down and hope that, hey, you know, I've got enough repetitions in the muscle that they're gonna grow. It's not gonna happen that way. It's gotta take like, 10,000 lifts of a progressive overload for you to actually see any type of muscle gain. So it takes time to create new muscle and it also takes time as you've seen to drop your body fat, but most importantly, it's gonna take consistency. And this is the problem that most people face is that yes, they lose all this weight and they drop all this fat, but they only lost the weight that they gained in between belly burn challenges or the weight that they've gained over summer or the weight that they've gained over Christmas. And so this yo-yo eating or training where you work hard for 28 days and then you take two months off of hard work, it's not gonna work long-term because the body wants to do what it consistently does. So imagine if you set yourself up on the same calories for 365 days. Imagine if you did your five to eight workouts at Fit Club per week for 365 days. And imagine if the weights that you were using 
today versus a year from now have doubled, then that's where you're going to really see that long-term success. So if you're tired of losing weight and you want to start seeing more muscle and still decrease your body fat, the simple solution is that you just need to consistently do what is working. Find the calories that's helping you to achieve the physique that you're actually trying to visually see because the number on the scale doesn't really matter. What really matters is how you see yourself. And so if you see yourself getting more cuts and you're looking more muscular, then who cares how much you weigh? At the same time, you wanna slowly drop that body fat but you don't wanna drop it too much because if you drop your calories by too much, you're gonna to lose too much weight. And so you need to find that calories and it might not come from your watch. It might just come from you knowing how many calories you can consume without feeling too full and without gaining too much weight and can gaining too much body fat. And then at the same time, make sure that you're progressively challenging yourself to lift heavier and heavier and heavier. Now, heavier and heavier and heavier doesn't mean that you lift the heaviest weight wrong once. Heavier and heavier means that maybe you stick to the same weights on the same exercise for four weeks, and in four weeks you test yourself to lift a little bit heavier, but making sure that you're staying within the similar rep range. And what rep range is that? Between 10 and 15 reps when it comes to Fit Club workouts. So there we have it, guys. I know it's a long story, but I hear this all the time. The key to this is that you are what you consistently do, and the main thing I want you to take away from this is stop yo-yo eating. So you might eat clean Monday through Friday, then Saturday comes and you eat like crap. Sunday comes and you're recovering from your crap Saturday, so you eat a little bit more crap. Monday, you kind of jump back in it. And then also from the yo-yo training, meaning that like, you know, you work out for three days and then you take a four-day weekend. Like you need to consistently be training your body and it needs to be consistently making changes because you are what you consistently do.